Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. New Windows 10 build to look at. This is 18309 for Windows inside on the fast ring and skip ahead. And um, this is a couple of changes really with this build. The last one, 305, had some uh, new features like uh, Windows Sandbox, which you can see in my previous videos available on our YouTube channel. This build really is just a couple of fixes. Compiled just before Christmas actually. So uh, this is the first build of 2019, but I think it is a, a pre-Christmas build. Okay, so what can I show you on this build? Well, actually, there's not a huge amount I can show you. The, on the blog post, Microsoft mentioned that the uh, passwordless sign-in is available. We can't sh I can't show you that from this machine because uh, it locks out when I sign in. It locks out when I get on the lock screen. It, it stops my recorder working. Um, this was actually introduced in 305 anyway, but uh, it's now available for all editions. It was only available in the home edition before. Um, They've also, uh, same thing with passwordless phone uh, signing using your phone. That was available in home edition, and now that's available in all editions. The rest of the changes are actually all pretty basic. I can't, sorry, I can't really show you more. The narrators, you can add more voices to narrator. Uh, the um, narrator home has been improved. Let's, let's fire that up. Not everybody uses narrator, but if you need it, then these are important features for you. So. The, uh, they've improved the home uh, navigation and uh, like I said, they can, some languages that you can download. They've uh, fixed the uh, issues with Hyper-V, they fixed some keyboard b builds, they fixed some uh, XAML errors. I'll tell you what they have uh, fixed is the out of the box Cortana experience. So there's my, my Cortana. Um, if, if you've ever set a, a new Windows 10 PC up and uh, Cortana walks you through the setup with the voiceover and it can get a bit annoying, well, they've turned that off now on all the editions apart from the home edition. So you're not going to get that um, talk as you go through it. I'm just going to check to see whether Windows Sandbox actually works in this build. Uh, it, in the previous build, 305, it did work and then there was an update, uh, I think it was Intel Explorer security uh, issue, and that stopped it from working. Um, so I'm going to check that now. It just seems to take a long time to load, so I'm not sure that's it's still not working. Um, oh, there you go, it's firing up now. So I think uh, that's been fixed then. Uh, a couple of known issues, some Creative X5 cards, um, S mode, um, if you attempt to update this build, some S mode devices. Uh, when attempting to update this build, some S mode devices will download and restart but fail to do the update. So, oh, there you go, there's the um, sandbox now working again. Um, so, you, this sandbox, if you haven't seen the previous video, is an isolated version of Windows 10 that runs like a virtual environment on your machine. So, you can use it to try something that you know that it's not going to cause any damage to your main system. Um, some of the network buttons aren't working uh, on the signing screen and um, in certain, certain cases the build may appear to work but it hasn't. You have to check Winver to check your build or you can look down here to the, um, to the bottom right. So those are the changes. It's very minor with this, this build. Uh, there's a bug bash coming up soon so I don't think we'll get any major changes to Windows 10 uh, before then. We might not even get any major changes before this gets released. This, win this Windows 10 19H1 set of builds seems to be about polishing the UI and getting things um, just cleaned up rather than major new features. We'll have to see. So thanks for watching this video. Sorry I can't show you more, but you'll, when Microsoft release more, I'll show you more. Thanks for watching.